Uh, we're here with Paolo from Tribune. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank okay. you for having us. <laughs> I, was, I was looking this morning, I think, at your Facebook page, the Tribune Facebook yeah. page, and I already saw the pictures. Uh, did you arrive yesterday? Yeah, we got in uh, yesterday evening, and um, we just, first thing we thought was let's go get a lot of food, and uh, we were recommended a place not too far from our hotel, so it was excellent. Speaking of, and, and you posted the, the picture yeah. that I saw, uh, speaking of posting, you're one of the bands that kind of updates a lot on what you do, things you've yeah. been up to. Uh, doesn't that wash off a bit of the mystique surrounding the band or you just don't? Yeah, I, I mean, mystique, it, it's very, it's I know, a very it's, hard, it's a bigger word, but well, mystique's a very hard thing to, to sort of maintain now. Um, some bands maybe can do it. Um, I, I think regardless of if you want mystique or not, I think you need to really be interactive, whether it's the band guys themselves or someone doing it for you, just staying really on top of, you know, making sure the social media and the websites are, are all up to par and, you know, just engage fans. I mean, we're, we like to talk to our fans. We're fans of music ourselves. Uh, so it's it's not a one way street of us just saying hey buy our album and come to our shows. It's you know we like to talk to them. We like to hear what they think of what we're doing, and you know we'll update stuff. You know if people really want to hear a song, you know we try to put stuff into the set, try to make them as much as much of this as as we are. You know. Okay, I see. Uh, this is your first show in, in Romania. Yes. In Karest. Is it the first show in Europe? It's our first show of of the whole entire entire album cycle. Okay. The the new album? Yeah. Maybe? You'll be doing some new songs? Uh yeah, we're gonna do a new one today. Uh it actually hasn't even been released online. It'll okay. be out I wanted uh, to ask that, yeah. Yeah it, it'll be coming out probably in a few days and stuff, but um we're gonna play it today. So So what happens after Bucharest? Uh we go to Spain tomorrow, we have a few days off and then we play the second show tour so it's nice we have a few days off near a beach so okay. just relax. Uh, speaking of touring you've been touring with uh, great names with, with big bands also as headliners could you compare these two experiences? Uh, what touring with? Touring with Ring Theater or, yeah. or touring as headliners for? I mean the the upside of headlining obviously is you get to play more music and now that we have about to have six albums out, it's like, it's hard to fit every song you want to play into a set that's not an hour and a half. So when it's not an hour and a half set, it, that that's kind of the difficulty of supporting, but um, the plus side of supporting great bands is you get to a lot of new people, and it's just that experience of being new to people that's still, you know, it's a good feeling to, to know there's still people out there that haven't discovered your music yet, and that there are just more people that can get into you, you know. You gotta mix it up a bit. Okay, so if you are performing in a new place, in a new city, do you put much thought into what the set list is going to look like? Yeah, we... Well, like, for festivals, I think it's always good to kind of keep the songs that the majority of people that know you or just casually know you might know, like, you know, the singles, uh, or just songs that go over well outdoors or in bigger venues you know that that's definitely one thing we've become very uh, mindful of is if it's an outdoor show or inside like an arena sometimes fast songs can get a little muddy and just kind of just the the reverb of a big room or just being outside it doesn't translate as well as something that might be a bit more mid-paced but just as heavy just you know you gotta tailor your set to where you're at and uh, if you're at a festival, do you have the time to check out <coughs> other artists' performances? Yeah, sometimes uh, we can. Uh, we all decided, even though we have to leave at 5 a.m. tomorrow, we're going to stay and watch Rammstein because I know this is going to be one of their last shows of yeah, their, kind of, their yeah. tour cycle. So. There's another one, but this one is really yeah, much so the same. This is going to be our only chance to see them uh, on this run, so we're going to make sure to take, take advantage of that. Okay, uh, I know that Matt has a blog and he's kind of experimenting with the world cuisine. Yeah. What is it that you do to, um, I don't know, break away from the routine of a festival of touring? Um, 
Um, it, definitely one thing, you know, just kind of staying healthy with, you know, being able to get out and just, whether it's walking around a city and just enjoying that or, or working out or even some martial arts stuff, just, just things that are fun that kind of pass the time but are constructive in a way. Um, just really getting to take advantage of the situation of being in Europe, you know, and coming to places we've never been. And uh, that that's what it's all about, just making very good use of your time while you can tour the world. Okay, so in October I know that you'll be releasing your sixth album. Yes. Yeah, uh, and one of the things the fan knows about you that you try to do with each album something something different. What is it that is different about, about um, your new album? Well, I think with this one, I mean, working with David Draymond uh, of the Snare, yes. you know, that all kind of came about because of the last record, and David's been a really, really big fan of Trivium since we put out Ascendancy. I mean, you know, he's known about us. We've we've done some shows with Disturbed way, way long ago, and then we did a tour with them in Australia, and then Mayhem, the last tour they did before they went on hiatus, and that's when we gave him in waves, and he, he came back to us a few days later. Um, you know, we give out the CD to people we know, and we, we weren't expecting him to come back and just be like, you know, I really love what you guys have done. I see a lot of potential for, you know, future songs. If we work together, it would be really an amazing opportunity. Let's see if we can try to make it work out. And, like, pretty much a year went by, and we, we kept in touch. We, we were talking about doing it, and then we finally just decided, let's make it work. And that's why we actually recorded, um, it was like the end of January, we went to Austin, Texas, and we got it all done because he had to go back and start touring for his new project device so it was amazing it was uh the focus on this record was you know to make the hooks bigger to make the riffs bigger and heavier um to put a lot of groove into the music and to make you know the the faster more technical parts count you know and instead of just being there for the sake of it being there because they make the song go to another level when they needs to and He's an amazing producer. I mean, obviously, he hasn't done, aside from the projects he's done, you know, with Disturbed and Device, you know, we're one of the first projects he's done outside of that, so... He was a great influence? Yeah, really, really great influence on us, and, and almost more so than a, even more than just a producer, almost kind of a, a mentor in many ways, you know, he's had really good advice about everything, and it was really fun working with him. So, you know, you see things differently than you would have done while you made the previous album? I think we just focused in on the songwriting more and more. Um, and he has some really great perspective on songwriting. And he loves what we've been doing. He just wanted, you know, he wanted to take what he loves about us and just make it better and more refined. And I think people will see that in this, you know. It, it, it has the elements of stuff that we've been doing. It's just we really focused in on making it the best we could. So you'll be touring at the end of this year and next year probably? Yeah, probably at least a year and a half. A year and, and a half at we'll least. be seeing you? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be a lot of touring coming up, so you're getting us while we're still fresh and <laughs> everyone's still... Well, we hopefully will get a concert. Yeah, I hope, I hope, we can, hope we can come back and do a full headlining set, but today's good, you know, we get to come out and shake off the rust and play some heavy tunes. And, Fans uh, are yeah. awaiting coming yeah, to, well, to see you. We're really excited. We've always wanted to come here and you know, all the fans that have messaged us and messaged the promoters about having us, you know, thank you guys. You know, you're the reason why we're here. So, Do you have a message, being that you're the first time in Romania, a yeah. message for our Metalhead readers? Alright, uh, a message for you guys. Well, aside from all the, the business stuff of the album coming out and all the shows, uh, just thank you guys. Like I said, we would not be in Romania if we didn't have the support of all the metal fans and especially the Trivium fans in Romania that wanted to see us come here. So thank you guys. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it, thank you. And wow!